Hello and good morning from the beautiful city of Madrid, Spain. Yes, that's right. Today I'm in Spain. Um, in fact, I'm actually at the Madrid International Airport um, waiting for my flight to go to Miami. For those who are new here, my name is Pi and welcome to my channel, Unofficial Pi. And today is my first time flying business class with Air Europa and here I am at the business lounge. The name of this lounge is Sibelis and is situated in Terminal 1 of Madrid International Airport and is situated between gate B26 and gate B29. This lounge is open 24 hours daily and it has disable access, Wi-Fi, newspapers and magazine. There are also conference and work area as you can see now in the video. So you can have conference or you can put your laptop and do your work, find your corner and you can work nice quietly. There's also a shower here, if you like to freshen up between the flight, please make sure you bring all your stuff so you can stop by and take a shower before you get on the next flight. The lounge has a lot of natural light and it's, it's pretty much open plan so it's nice and spacious, very open and I arrived there about 10 in the morning so it was between breakfast and lunch so the first 30 minutes there were ham and cheese like continental breakfast and later on about 30 minutes later they start putting on lunch like pastas and salads and soup so they plenty of food and they were very nice Alright, it's almost my time to board, so let me drink up my bubbly and let's get to the gate to board the plane. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome on board Air Europa Flight UX97 from Madrid to Miami. The 
fly would take about eight hours. My seat was on 5K. Unfortunately, this seat there is no window next to the seat. So, if you like to fly Dreamliner 7879 Air Europa, if you prefer your window seat, don't pick 5K. There's plenty of leg looms here and I like the finish of the seat. It's got a wooden finish on the tables and it's like a few touch of leather seat. Um, this is rising to your left hand side, there's a little button at the end. It took me quite a while to figure out. There are plenty of power supply in here. One in the front and one at the back to charge your phone. There's a reading light on your right hand side next to the table. They are very good in flight entertainment on this flight. There's a lot of movies and TV series in English and also some in Spanish. The headphone is a bit small, flimsy and not comfortable. They could be standard amenity stuff in the back. Um, I would prefer the tube rather than sachet. It reminds me of ketchup. And it's bubbly time again. Unfortunately, the flight was 45 minutes delay, so we have plenty of time to enjoy our bubbly and chips. On the menu on this flight, there were meat option, fish, and pasta. I picked the fish. It was grilled mackerel and potato. It was great. Señoras y señores, bienvenidos a bordo del avión Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Antes de la señal esté iluminada y cuando se lo indique un miembro de la tripulación, se abrocha y desabrocha como les estamos mostrando. The service on this flight was absolutely outstanding. The cabin crew was super friendly. The food was very good, well presented and tasted good.
And for dessert, I picked salted caramel cheesecake. It was absolutely delight. All right, time for me to go to La La Land. So the bed is made, plenty of space to stretch my leg, and still space at the end. Oh, by the way, there were a lot of mid-flight snack, so I got up for three times during kind of half sleep. First, I first for salad, then sandwich, then ice cream.
ten en cuenta nuestras recomendaciones y sigue las políticas y protocolos del país al que llegas. Gracias por volar con el Europa.